Most eukaryotic protein coding genes are interrupted by sequences that do not code for amino acids in the translated gene product. These intervening sequences are called introns. The segments that express the amino acids in the protein are called exons. When the protein coding genes are transcribed, a precursor mRNA molecule is produced. The pre-mRNA is a base-for-base -base copy of the gene, containing both exons and introns. To produce a mature mRNA, the introns in the pre-mRNA must be removed and its remaining exons must be spliced together. This process is called RNA splicing. RNA splicing depends on recognizing the boundary between exon and intron. Introns typically begin with 5' GU and end with 3' AG. However, other nucleotides at both the 5' and 3' splice junctions also play an important role in specifying the exon-intron boundaries. RNA splicing occurs in a series of steps which involve small nuclear ribonucleoprotein particles, or SNRPs. SNRPs are complexes of small RNA molecules and a number of proteins. The first step in splicing occurs when the U1 SNRP recognizes the 5' splice junction between exon 1 and intron 1. U1 attaches to the GU at the 5' end of the intron. If a mutation alters one of these bases, splicing at this junction is blocked and the intron is not removed. In addition to the 5' GU and 3' AG intron sequence, there is also the branch point sequence that is important for RNA splicing. The branch point sequence consists of seven nucleotides located near the 3' AG splice site. In mammals, this sequence is YNCURAY, where Y is a pyrimidine, N is any base, and R is a purine. U1 attachment at the 5' GU leads the way to the binding of the U2 SNRP. The U2 attaches to the final adenine of the branch point sequence. A trimer forms between the U4, U5, and U6 SNRPs. This trimer associates with both U1 and U2, bringing them closer together. This causes the intron to loop. After U1 and U2 are brought together, U4 is released. This release results in the formation of an active spliceosome, whose function is to remove the intron from between the two flanking exons. Cleavage first occurs at the 5' GU, separating intron 1 from exon 1. The 5' guanine covalently bonds to the final adenine, located in the branch point sequence. This looped structure is called a lariat. Cleavage then occurs at the junction between 3' AG and exon 2. Exon 1 and exon 2 are ligated together in a 5' 3' phosphodiester bond with the release of the intron. U1, U2, U5, and U6 remain attached to the intron lariat and carry it to debranching enzymes located in the nucleus. The enzymes degrade the RNA and recycle the nucleotides. This process is repeated for each intron. When all introns have been removed, a mature mRNA is produced. Now the mRNA is ready to exit the nucleus and be translated by cytoplasmic ribosome.